Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama. So I'm finally going to answer all your questions from the Ask Me Anything video that I did about last week. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to read them off my phone and I'll post the comment right here below and give you the answer. I'll try to rush through as many as I can, but I don't want this video to drag on too much. So I might only be able to answer maybe about like 20 to 30 questions, but let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the first question reads, what's your job within the military and how did it take you to Japan? So my job within the military is food service. I basically work as a mess hall manager and I just asked to come to Japan and hey, here I am. Next, Matrox asks, what paints did you use as a beginner? And in, number two, MG, Dynamis, or Freedom 2.0? So for the first question, what paints did I use as a beginner? Uh, mostly acrylics, because I was doing a lot of hand painting, and I also used a lot of uh, spray paints, which I think those were acrylic paints. Um, but yeah, that was mainly the paints I used as a beginner, did a lot of hand painting, and I, it, worked, it worked off uh, pretty much well. Uh, but then the MG Dynamis or the Freedom 2.0, well, I haven't built the Freedom 2.0. It's kind of just chilling in the backlog right now. But the MG Dynamis is fantastic, so I'll probably put that one ahead. Gundam Mujin asks, are you going to paint Steve Black? Next, Faraz Ahmed asks, you've been a part of the community for at least eight years, so what are some things you like, dislike about them? Things that you've seen evolve over the years and what changes you'd like to see in the future? Um, now, unless you mean, I don't know if you mean products or if you mean people, if you mean products, um, what I would like to see change, probably really nothing. I, I would probably want to see the RE100 line be, just be better. Uh, so far, I've only, I think I only have two RE100s in my collection, and that's it. I haven't really seen any interest in the other ones, they just kind of look plain and they're fairly hollow on the inside. They don't really have a, uh, a workable inner frame. So eh, I don't really like those too much. So maybe Van and I can work, uh, work something better with those. But if you're talking about the community, you know, honestly, the community has been a lot better and more like tight knit. So I know we have some bad apples in the bunch here and there, but I really do think overall the community is super awesome and very welcoming. Um, I mean, if, if not, then I wouldn't be here with, you know, such a beautiful fan base and uh, just a good community right here. So really appreciate everyone. And uh, I mean, in the past eight years, it's definitely gotten better. So hopefully the next eight years, it gets even better. Very Edgy asks, how many Mo kits in your collection right now? I guess Mo kits is model kits. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm, I think I'm past 300 right now. I think I'm close to 350. Uh, but I, I don't know, man. Like, I do have... If you're talking about just Gunpla, it's probably a little bit less. Uh, but when you incorporate like Kotobukiya and some other little like other things like Monteroid, I think it's close to around 300 or if not, it's, it's a lot more. Insert name asks, where do you get your kits? Do you know anywhere to get cheap Kotobukiya kits? Um, I get my kits out in town. So over here in Iwakuni, I can just pretty much drive off base and there's a couple of stores of Yamada Dinky and there's an 80 on. Uh, so I pick up my kits there. If not, then I do go further over into Hiroshima pick up my kits out there, but it's generally wherever I go in uh, Japan. Uh, P Bandai stuff, I actually just got an account with Premium Bandai, so I'm gonna start ordering kits and it's gonna be delivered directly to my doorstep now. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty good, a lot, a lot more cheap to, uh, to just buy straight online than you know waiting to go and find it through a third party seller. But um, for finding Kotobukiya kits relatively cheap, um, I think New Type has been doing really good with selling theirs fairly cheap. I don't really look at other um, like sellers online. I don't really know any other places, maybe except for like Hobbin League Japan, that might sell um, Kotobuki line stuff. I, I would say just shop around. It for me, it's easier just to go to Neverland with an 80 on. That's probably the cheapest place I I've ever seen Kotobuki kits. Uh, so that's pretty much where I go. Tokyo asks favorite Gundam movie. Um, if you're talking about just strictly the movies, like the, like, you know, uh, the, the Trailblazer, um, a Gundam movie that I like, I would say none, to be honest. Uh, Shars Counterattack, but I think that's a fairly easy one. F91's interesting, but it gets kind of boring fairly quickly. So I'm just going to have to go the easy route and just say Shars Counterattack. Luke Garcia asks, would you do a video on the new Gundam Breaker for mobile? Have you played the old ones? If so, which is better? P.S. Thanks for the streams and videos, dude. Well, thank you for watching. Um, to be honest, I'm not really too interested in that new mobile, mobile uh, Gundam Breaker game. Um, I, I did play uh, 1, 2, and 3. I never, I never played the new Gundam Breaker because it, it didn't look good, to be, to be honest. 
Uh, but I do love part two. Part one's fun, and don't get me wrong. I think part two was probably my favorite. Uh, I don't really know why, because I, play, I played two on Vita. So maybe it's because I had the, the portability option, so I was able to bring it with me wherever I went. But part three was really good. It had a lot more options. It had the SDs that were uh, integrated in it. So it's a really it's a big toss up between t uh, two and three, but only because I had two on portable. B nuts asks, how many Mecha Masume waifus does Steve have, and which, if any, is his favorite? Um, he doesn't have any waifus actually. Uh, Ayami left him. The other girls don't even look at him. So yeah, he's he's kind of a lonely boy over there. Shuriken250 asks, can you get some better lighting? Honestly, this is as good of lighting as you're really going to find. Uh, I have two umbrellas, I got another lamp up there, I got an overhead light, I got two big lamps over there, um, and yeah, so I, I, think, I think I'm pretty good. So Jason asks, how to glue Gumpa parts? Well, the smart ass answer is to buy glue and then put it on the Gundam and pew, put it together. But honestly, I use Mr. Siemens a lot, so um, that's kind of like my go-to. I don't really use traditional glue, uh, but I really haven't been into uh, the customizable options, so maybe I I'm not the best person to ask, but I'm going to look a little bit more into it and hopefully I can give you a better answer in the future. What really is your job? Side jobs? Businesses? Sources of income? I'm quite confused to be honest. Um, well, uh, I think that's a good thing that you're confused. I don't want you to know exactly all my f forms of income, but obviously the military pays me. Um, that's pretty much what I do 24-7 is, you know, do my job within the military and uh, I really enjoy it. I don't really have any other external sources of income except for some side things like I do sell some of my Gundams uh, from time to time or just figures in general. Uh, not really too often, so that's not really a source of income. It's just more of like, hey, you want to buy this? Cool, buy it. Uh, other than that, I mean, obviously I get money from YouTube. Uh, that's, that's pretty much about it. I'm not like a rich person. I just do a lot of well, I do some very good investing. So my investing pays off in the long run, especially when I want to get like models that are fairly expensive. I don't feel as guilty um, purchasing some high-end uh, models, so just do some investing. Olsen asks, tentacle or gore? Tentacle. Leafpot asks, why can't I think of any questions? I don't know. Why can't you? And Universal Clay asks, what is your favorite hentai series? The Little Blue Girl. The original Little Blue Girl, not the, the new Little Blue Girl stuff. That shit's trash. Michael asks, I was curious about your job specialty is, was while serving in the Marines. I am a fellow staff sergeant in the US Army and I'm affiliated with the Signal Regiment. So, um, I mean, my job specialty is just food service, but I've done a lot of different things, not just food service. I did uh, safety, I drove uh, a forklift, I was a warehouse, oper uh, wa warehouse uh, manager, I was also a office clerk, so I kind of did like a lot more paper pushing. Um, I was a box, uh, box kicker for a while, so I did a lot of different things, you know, pretty much anything that has like wheels, I can drive it, uh, and anything that is motorized, I can kind of like handle it pretty well. IRRS47 asks, did you hype with G Top Gun 2 and what you think about, what you think about Top Gun 2 is actually accurate when you on Navy? Um, I mean, I'm not really hyped for Top Gun 2. Like, I'm excited, but I'm not hyped. I, two different things. Like, Hype Train is like Smash Bros. Ultimate. That was Hype Train. Um, this, I'm excited for. You know, I'm, I'm going to go watch it. I think it's going to be pretty good. It's not going to be as good as the original. And I'm also not in the Navy. Weaver Nuts asks, excited for the Gundam movie, or do you think it will flop? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, we've had a lot of anime movie flops in the past. I mean, Death Note was definitely one of them. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Ghost in the Shell was kind of like, eh, it wasn't a true flop, but it did not do as well in the box office. Um, but we did have Alita. So Alita is something that I'm thinking like, wow, we possibly could have some decent anime movies in the future. I think it's going to do good, just really depending on the cast, the writers, the producers, directors. Like, these guys need to make this movie work. Uh, but we'll see. What old Gundam MS would you like to see getting an updated HD? For me, that would that would be the Shenlong Ultron Gundam. That would be the exact same answer I would have. Uh, I need an Ultron. Like, I want the TV version Ultron high grade. 
that would be beautiful. Razer asks, what is the airspeed velocity of a laden swallow? Well, uh, it really depends if it's going to be a European or an a African swallow, uh, but I would probably just say 24 miles per hour. Mr. Servicer 1200 asks, what do you think about realism and modeling? Does detail matters to you in scale modeling? If a kit doesn't offer everything the real thing should have, um, I guess, i.e. if lock-on's aiming device or the Haro is not included in Dynamus co uh, cockpit, is the model considered bad? A modeler's statement made me think over the question above a lot, so I'm looking forward to your opinions. Stay crowing, mate. Um, honestly, realism is out of the window when you're taking something that's fictional like Gundam. Y you could have it realistic, like, okay, like, would this damage be realistic in space? Like, obviously it's probably not gonna rust in space, and certain damages just really wouldn't apply. Um, but it's really just like what you think of it, to be honest. Like, I personally don't care. There's a lot of unrealistic things that are entered in, into uh, GBWC that just looks really cool. Um, so I, I take a lot of the realism stuff and I put it to the side, but it's always cool to have it. Um, now, if a certain kit doesn't have a, a particular item that was included within the anime, like, if, if Haro wasn't in the cockpit of uh, the, Di the MG Dynamis, it wouldn't matter to me, to be honest. It's a really cool thing, but I'm never gonna take that thing apart to look at it, and you really can't look at it if you open up the cockpit. So, it just kind of exists to exist. So, that's pretty much my answer. Aaron asks, are you planning to make your own Gundam? And if you are, can you please post it on YouTube? I do have plans. Um, I'm just, I'm really overloaded with projects that I have ongoing. Like I have one that's still being painted. I do have other things that are in boxes ready to be painted. And I also have a new upcoming project that is gonna be hitting probably in the next two days. Um, so I got a lot of things I gotta work and uh, having my own like crow model or crow gundam just isn't really in the cards right now but i do have ideas for it and it will happen at least before i die and i will also post everything on youtube jordan asks do you know high grades that come with marking seals uh i mean marking seals can be anything like stickers or water slide decals so a lot of high grades do uh best place to look is probably dalong uh that's going to be your best bet because he covers like every single thing so Probably go check out all the high grades over there and then just really point out which ones you want. Or you can buy third party marking seals and slap them onto any high grade that you really want. Master asks, are you excited for Evangelion 3.0? Uh, no. Apen asks, prepare the nipple light question, guys. I honestly couldn't uh, imagine anything to ask. Don't think I've seen many people be as open as you on streams, Crow. I feel like we can ask anything anytime anyways, ha ha ha. Um, yeah, it's not a question. So, but yeah, appreciate everything, man. Uh, anyone who comes on the streams or just like you know does the interactions in like any kind of like chat or um, you know the comment section, I really appreciate that because me making videos and no one like engaging back, like if if the comment section was completely blank, it'd be boring. I would say like I'll probably still make the videos because I just enjoy the, the the process of making videos. But I honestly would be pretty bored that no one's engaging back and forth. And I try to answer everyone's questions whenever they comment, and I just like to be engaging as much as I, as I possibly can. All right, KRSSPR103 asks, will you be covering more of Mini Plus, Super Mini Plus, like the Sentai Mini Plus, or like the Super Shock Gundam? No, <laughs> I don't really care about the Mini Plus. Uh, I saw them up close many a times. They just don't look interesting. I'm, I'm, I hate to say that. Uh, maybe the Voltron is the only one I'm really thinking about getting, but everything else really just looks like low quality. Suryu Fuyu, uh, what Gundam was the most expensive that you bought? Um, it had not been a perfect grade, so I'd probably just say like the perfect grade Banshee Norn. I think that was my most expensive, coming around like 200 some dollars. Eclipse asks, what do you think about Bandai launching Gundam Kiss into space for the Tokyo Olympics event? Uh, they're obviously going to be small. They're not like an actual like one-to-one -one scale Gundam. So whenever you shoot them, I think it'll be cool. That's not really going to be. I don't think it's going to be a huge, significant milestone in mankind's history. But it's definitely going to be pretty cool to have Gundams in space for the first time. Dracomon asks, "What are your top three favorite Gundam shows?" Uh, it's definitely Eighth MS Team being number one, two, Gundam Age, three. I'm just going to say one because I don't really want to sit here too long and think about it. But number three, I'll go with IBO. Alexander asks, what is in your opinion the best Gunpla kit ever made? Any grade, any price, anything goes really. RG Sazabi. That's, 
I think that easily still stands as like the greatest Gunpla uh, I've ever built in my entire life. It looks beautiful, like I'm looking at it right now and it's just like, mm, even without me painting it, like I really wanna paint it. I really, 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 really wanna paint it. Uh, but even without the paint, it looks really beautiful. Uh, the details are fantastic, the articulation is amazing. So eventually I am gonna get around to painting that and it's going to look amazing next to the RG new. Kyo asks, is there going to be a uh, continuation of Crow versus Steve? There is and there isn't. Um, I have, I have, I have ideas, but like, like I mentioned earlier, like I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit back, like backlogged with some stuff. So I do have a lot of projects I'm working on, and doing things such as lore is really super important to me. But like right now, I need, I'm trying to focus on some things, and then I'm going to go back to other projects here and there. What's your dream kit that hasn't come out yet? Mmm, a dream kit that has not come out yet. Honestly, anything with Ultron TV version, like I would say a Master Grade Ultron TV version, I would absolutely love that to come out in a Master Grade form. Daisuke asks, I have a lot of questions. You uh, don't have the, to answer all of them if you don't want to. All Gumpla related questions. Questions, what's your favorite SD Gumpla kit? Um, let's just say SD Cross Silhouette Nightingale. Uh, what's your favorite high grade gun, uh, gunpla kit? Uh, high grade moon. What's your favorite RG gunpla kit? Sazabi. What's your favorite MG gunpla kit? Mmm. Age one normal. What's your uh, favorite perfect grade gunpla kit? I only have three, per well, yeah, two perfect grades built, two in the backlog. So I'm just gonna go with the uh, perfect grade unicorn. What is the best MG you can recommend for beginners, age one normal? So that's all the questions that we have for tonight. So really appreciate everyone for asking the question, just to kind of like interact. I know I do a lot of live streams. So for the most part, people already ask me questions on these live streams and I've kind of, I've been a really big open book uh, about anything, honestly, and probably given a lot more information than what people actually ask for. Uh, but other than that, I really, I really wanted to do this video because after 10,000 views, uh, well, 10,000 subscribers, and just like about eight years being on the platform, uh, I think it was just really awesome to finally like have one of these type of videos. I've never done one before, and just kind of answer anyone's questions, whether pretty silly or fairly serious. So if I couldn't give you a direct answer, apologize. In the future, I will try to get more tutorials out there so that way it can kind of give a blanketed answer for every single person when it comes to painting, modeling, or anything of the sort. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Definitely don't want to keep this video too long. So thanks for sticking around, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.